Rajputra extends to Sardar, implements Chhatrapati Rajat. We'll see that little later. Let's see what does Rajputra get from Sardar. Can you tell me what all methods, what are functionalities Sardar uh, will will be given to Rajputra, or Rajputra will derive from Sardar? Or strategy, and of course human qualities. But this Rajputra has its own qualities, right? So he overrides the method here, okay, and he adds. Swarajya cha swapna ani marathi asmita to the human qualities. <coughs> the war strategy developed by Rajputra was different than its father. His father had a traditional war strategy but he invented Ganimi Kawa. So he, overridden, he has overridden that method again. Ganimi Kawa is a covert strike where you use uh, less force, more damage, support of natural camouflage like bushes, uh, mountains, uh, trees and all that. Now, because he, but do you believe this is enough for a Rajputra to be a king? No. Because as of now, Rajaputra is a Sadda, right? But when Rajputra wanted to be the king, he obviously has to do some approved processes of that society. And the approved process of the society to be a king is doing Rajabhishek. And that's where he implements Chhatrapati Raja interface. Before going ahead, we will listen to the lines in the Pogoda again. Don't think so. Shurayan Che Vadila Shahaji Shurayan Che Vadila Shahaji Moteran Gaji Jivachi Baji Ladavaya Yodda Mahashur Ladavaya Yodda Mahashur Ladavaya Yodda is Rajabhishek. Now the process of being king is you have to have Rajabhishek and you have to declare a capital of the kingdom. Right? So, Shivaji Raja implemented, Rajputra implemented this interface, Chhatrapati Raja did his Rajabhishek on 7 June 1674 at Fort Raigat and became Chhatrapati Raja Shivaji Bhosle. He also declared his capital as uh, of the Maratha kingdom as Kille Raigad, Fort Raigad on the same date. So since 7 June 1674, Kille Raigad has been the capital, ancient uh, capital of uh, Maharashtra kingdom, Maharashtra Swarajya. Now, in order to be a king, it's not just inheriting properties from Sardar and doing a Rajavishek. He has to do something for the people in the uh, in the kingdom, right? So he started his own uh, policies, he had as methods called as making policies. But one policy doesn't work for everything. So what we have here is an example of overloading, right? Making policies for currency, making policies for taxation, making po policies for Sardesh Mukhi, Chaut and everything. So one process changes its features or changes its output based on the base data. Okay, the process is same, the policy making. But the data changes, so you change the process, right? That's overloading. Now, what we can see to summarize this Rajputra class, we have few methods, two methods uh, from uh, the extension, uh, extending classes, that is uh, Sardar class and uh, Manav class, human qualities and war strategy. We have two overloaded own methods, individual methods, making policies, different output based on different inputs. And we have an uh, interface implemented of Chhatrapati Raja called as uh, methods called as Raja Vishek and declare uh, uh, capital, declare Rajasthan. <coughs> Shivaji Maharaj is Sarvagun Sampan. Shivaji Raja ni tenche ahi jizau. Wo vahir Shahaji Raja yenche Sarvagun shikarli. Param tu Shivaji yenche sukto gunamule. Shivaji Maharaj ya apne avalan cha manje Shahaji Raja yenche sarke 
दुसरी कड़े नौकरी ला न रहता एक स्वतंत्र राजे मनुष्य ले स्वतंत्र राजे मनुष्य ले now as we can see overloading right two methods we can see overriding we have seen constructors this class also has a constructor which uses the super constructor shivaji bosle right because the family name the derivations come from there uh, we also have seen uh, examples of encapsulation and uh, polymorphism here okay so let's listen to the same lines which illustrates uh, overloading overriding and polymorphism गणिमी कावायुक्त नीति की गणिमी कावायुक्त नीति की अंगी कारुन शुभने अंगी कारुन from a sardar he became the king by implementing the approved processes of the society rajarishi se satta che rajya sthapuna राजपुत्र शिवाजी भोसले is an output of the rajputra constructor it calls the sardar constructor the sardar constructor calls the manav constructor in the descending order okay so always you get a support from your uh, older generations now you can see the output of human qualities in shahaji raje and you can see the output which is overridden in shivaji bosle that's an example of overriding base classes can inherit the features but can define their own features as well can change modify the features as per their their own uh, qualities okay you can see the difference in the war strategy as well shahaji bosle has a war strategy traditional shivaji raje has a war strategy which is ganimi kawa gorilla warfare uh, which is a coward strike shivaji raje bosle did not just stop here did the raja vishek implemented those methods declared the kingdom and created the policies Uh, introduce the currency called as shivrai hon uh, uh, and uh, introduce uh, taxation policies chaut and sandesh mukhi based on uh, the same currency shivrai hon right so this is all about object oriented programming what we have seen is classes objects how they can inherit properties how child class can modify and make use of the same properties from the parents how can constructors be helpful when we want a particular sequence of output and the support from the earlier generations even if the earlier generations are abstract classes we also have seen what is in, how important overloading and overriding is if you look at the main method here okay it's absolutely clear rajaputra shivaji raje bhosle human qualities war strategies did raja vishek declared kingdom and calling the policies okay now because making a policy the process is same 
you do not have to have a different name of the method. You can have a same name based on different parameters. Because the process is same, the data is going to change. Let's not change the name. Let's keep the name cha same, change the data. Right? So overloading is there, overriding, constructor, inheritance, uh, encapsulation, abstraction, everything that we imagine or we learn in object-oriented programming can be seen here. So how did you like DTS? Anything that you have on based on this, anything, please feel free to share that with us. As I said, the objective of this session is not just to teach you object-oriented. Yes, this is one of the best ways that we found out to you know implement object-oriented programming. But out of the box thinking, guys, create something of your own. Nobody can give you so much of pleasure or happiness when you you know have a pleasure or happiness. When you create something and you can see that. Okay. As I said, probably you never had imagined, or probably we never had imagined before this idea came to our mind that object oriented programming can be taught with the help of a power. Okay. But uh, that's what uh, the management of matrix keeps doing. Okay. They, they always come up with something which is innovative, creative, and a little revolutionary way of imparting uh, training to the students. And uh, I'm sure on their behalf, I promise you that we will continue doing this. Yeah? But that's not the end, friends. I want the same promise from you. You don't have to come and tell us that what you have done. We can just make it up from your smiles. I want to see, we want to see smiles on your face of creation, a smile of innovation. Okay? Implementation that I just don't know it. You know what? I can create it. That confidence is what we expect. And that's the whole idea behind all this okay so the success of this event is not when you clap and when you say good but success of this event will be <coughs> when you actually start doing something and we hope that we get this output as early as possible and as better as possible all right thank you so much thank you so much uh, it was really great